there's a good chance it could turn quite a bit colder later next week. And if the cold spell arrives, well, it may well stick around for quite some time. There are signs it could last into March. For the reasons behind this cold spell of weather, we have to look high up into the atmosphere. In fact, into the stratosphere, 30 kilometers above the surface over the North Pole. Now, this graph shows how the temperature here has changed and changed quite dramatically. There's been a sudden jump in the temperature by around 50 degrees in a short space of time. This is sudden stratospheric warming. And it's important because it's a key indicator that things in the stratosphere have changed. It actually indicates that the winds may well have changed direction. And that's what's happened. Now, this is high up in the atmosphere, 30 kilometers above the surface. But after a while, that change in wind direction filters down through the stratosphere and can impact on the jet stream. It can weaken the jet stream. Now, the jet stream drives low pressure systems close to the United Kingdom. But a weaker jet means there's a greater chance of seeing high pressure dominating close to the UK. And that's what the signals are for are forming from the computers as we go through the latter part of next week. Some uncertainty about the exact position of the high, but if it's in such a position that the easterly winds get set up, then at the moment across Siberia, of course, the air is very cold. So if we get easterly winds, this cold air may well get drawn across the UK and, as I said at the start, it could stick around for quite some time. Now, it's not definite that this is going to happen, but, as I say, there's a reasonably strong signal that it might. So it does look as if we could get colder. Next question, are we going to see much snow? Well, of course, for snow, you need it to be cold, but you also do need that extra ingredient, moisture. Because it looks as if it could get quite cold, though, almost anything falling out of the sky could be snow. So it does have to be said there's a strong likelihood that if we get the cold spell, some places will see heavy snowfall. But snow, well, you do need those two ingredients. And a subtle change in wind direction makes all the difference about where we see the moisture and the exact location of any snowfall. So it's too early to say exactly where and when we'll see any snow, but it's something we'll be keeping a very close eye on. So stay up to date with the forecast. Any warnings will appear on the Met Office website. Keep up to date through our app or, of course, across social media.